that consumption of this other nutrient that you'd never think of in a million years as being a, a valuable for the mouth is just as effective in reducing periodontal disease. Guess what the substance is? Probiotics. Probiotics. Now you think of probiotics for your gut, right? For the digestion of food, for the creation of vitamin K, for the absorption of your nutrients. Who would have thought that probiotics have to do with oral health? Just like who would have thought fish oils have to do with oral health? But this report in this morning's edition, I found that early this morning in a journal called Oral Microbiology. Now, who reads these journals? But <laughs> nonetheless, it was all over the place. This is what it says. And this is what they're going to be doing in the future. Probiotic containing lozenges. They don't have them yet, but they're making them. It says probiotics may reduce levels of three different pathogen in patients with chronic periodontitis. What we were just speaking of, inflammation of the gums, suggests a new study that also supports the benefits uh, uh, for inflamed gums. What they're saying is that these probiotics, just like the fish oil, put out the fire in the mouth, reduce the inflammation. It says three weeks of lactobacillus orally was associated with a significant reduction in the severity of gum inflammation and infection. In addition, they said the clinical trial also found that the levels of three different bad bacteria, three different pathogens in patients with chronic periodontal disease were significantly reduced following probiotic intervention orally. It's amazing. The trial confirms that probiotics orally do three major things, maybe four. Number one, inhibit plaque formation. Number two, are anti-inflammatory. Number three are antimicrobial. They literally kill bacteria. It says, quote, probiotics are in line to become the next blockbuster functional ingredient in gum and mints. So what they're going to start to do now, and you'll see this over the next year, is probiotic chewing gum, probiotic mints, and it because it is so darn effective as a plaque inhibitor, as an anti-inflammatory substance in the mouth, and as an antimicrobial. But they're saying it also showed benefits in their study against gingivitis, infl severe inflammation of the gums, bleeding, inflamed gums. And they, they conclude by saying this, it indicated that the lactobacillus strain improves overall oral health based on its influence on the immune system. So there again, we think of you know, probiotics as having a powerful effect on the immune system in the gut, and indeed it's the principal factor in building gut immunity. But here we're seeing that it has a very powerful impact on the immune system systemically, not just in the gut. So next time you take your probiotics, especially if you're taking the protocol out of the University of Nebraska, the Prodophilus 1, 2, and 3, and you mix a half a teaspoon of each into some water, well, before you drink it down, swish it around your mouth a few times. Expose your gum tissue to this periodontal miracle.